In this video, we are going to learn how to troubleshoot when SonarCube is not coming up. Okay, let's say that you did set up SonarCube, but whenever you are trying to bring up SonarCube, your SonarCube application is not coming up. So how are we going to troubleshoot? Okay, so if you do see my setup, I did set up SonarCube on Ubuntu EC2 instance and um, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that. Okay, so this is my git bash okay or, or i term where i have already connected to my uh, ec2 instance where i i did set up sonar cube okay so what instruction i did follow to set up sonar cube so let me show you right Okay, so I did follow the steps in my website, okay, in order to set up SonarCube, okay, so these are the instructions which I have followed, okay, so right now my SonarCube is actually not coming up, okay, so how are we going to troubleshoot that, okay, the first thing is, you know, always look into the log file, right, so basically, if you navigate to this directory, right, like where the SonarCube got installed, so this is the directory where we did install SonarCube, right? Slash opt slash SonarCube. Let me increase the font. Okay, and then if you do see that there is a logs folder. So let's go inside the logs folder. And you see here, there is a file called sonar and then the timestamp dot log file, right? So it is important that you actually view that file, right? Let's tail F to that. As you can see here, it says that sonar cube is stopped right it means that our sonar cube is not coming up right and then if I also go to my aws console if i try to bring up sonar cube uh, the default port number is 9000 as you can see here it is not coming up right so there is some issue with our uh, instruction so how to troubleshoot that okay the first thing is yes you have to check in the log file right so yes you know so there is some problem right so if you actually see, I do have my wiki page. Okay, so this is my wiki page, right? If you go to my blog, uh, cadevops.com, and if you search wiki, okay, and you are going to see this uh, wiki page, right? So I have provided a lot of, uh, what do you call, you know, troubleshooting uh, uh, steps here, right? A lot of troubleshooting steps here, okay? So as you can see here, what is the issue, what is the root cause and fix and whatnot, okay? So right now we do have this issue, right? Like SonarCube stop error. So let me search this way. So this is the issue we are talking about, right? Like issue number 17, SonarCube is stop error. And this is the message, you know, we are getting it, right? Like, you know, SonarCube is stop. Okay, so now let's look into the root cause, right? So what could be the potential issue? So the first thing is, you know, we have to make sure that our sonar.property file is configured properly, right? So how do you go there? So yes, let's copy this uh, uh, command. Let's go to our git bash or item. Okay, I'm going to execute that command. Okay, so this is the first place, you know, you might want to take a look at it, okay? Because this is a sonar.property file where you would have provided your username and password, right? So if you see here, yes, this is the username, this is the password which we did uh, use, right? In order to set up okay where sorry here right yeah this is the username and this is the password right and then that's what i'm actually documenting here okay and then if you see here we, we also need to make sure that we need to add this line isn't it so okay let's make sure that yeah see here we don't have this line uncommented correct you see here we don't have that entry anywhere here yeah see here that is the problem right so we do have username and password but we don't have this entry. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to copy this particular line, okay? So I'm going to put that over here, right? Something like that, right? Okay? 
right? That's pretty much over there, right? And then let me come out of it. Let me save this file and quit. Okay. So now we made some configuration changes, right? So what we can do, we can go ahead and then restart the service. But before that, I also want to make sure that um, I also set up my, what do you call, you know, PostgreSQL correctly, right? So how do I know that? So let's, uh, you know, uh, let's log in into Postgres. The way you are going to do is, this is how you are going to do, right? Now I switch into Postgres and then type psql. This is going to take you inside this uh, database. And then let's make sure that, you know, we did set up SonarCube, uh, I mean, not SonarCube, we did set up Postgres SQL like this, right? So you can see when you, uh, you know, click on your up arrow button, it's going to show you what are the div different commands you know we have used to uh, you know set up right so basically we did uh, alter the user we did create the uh, schema name called sonar cube and then we also granted uh, you know permission right for the sonar user to the sonar cube schema so we are actually good with that i think this looks good so let's quit this is how we are going to quit so that configuration is actually looking good right so that is the second place you might want to take a look at it, right? Just just to make sure that your Postgres SQL has been set up properly, okay? And then the third place, what you want to take a look at is, you know, how to set up this, um, how to set up the sonar.service file, right? So make sure you see this file, right? So this is nothing but a sonar.service file, right? So this is the place where uh, we have provided instruction to uh, configure SonarCube to run as a service, right? So make sure you have a right syntax and whatnot, right? And if you actually see here, so this is what we need to have, right? Okay, so looks like, you know, we have pretty much over there. So I think everything look, everything is looking good. So let's come out of it. Okay, so since we made some configuration changes, what we have to do, we have to go and restart sonar service right so what is the command to restart so of course you can also see here i will also update my block here as well so that you know i will provide the command to restart so let's do that so this is the command isn't it so sudo systemtl start sonar right because we made configuration changes in sonar.property file right so let me go ahead and then you know run this command sonar cube it says up and running okay let's see see here this is a message you know we really wanted to see right it says that sonar cube is up perfect now let's go into ec2 console click on this one right wow see here now the sonar cube is coming up the default username is admin and the password is also admin enter and then it is going to ask you to change the password right so you can you know go ahead and then set up whatever the password you wanted to right so yes yeah, that's it guys you know that's how you would be troubleshooting sonar cube if you are running into any uh, configuration issue or you know any startup issue related to sonar cube thank you for watching